This video will provide an overview of LiftMaster's heavy-duty swing and slide gate operator models HDSL24UL and HDSW24UL. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. The procedures demonstrated should only be performed by trained professional installers and service technicians. Safe operation and servicing requires that you follow all instructions and safety advisories found in the manual. To locate a trained professional installer or service technician, go to liftmaster.com slash locate a dealer. HD series continuous duty gate operators are designed for heavy gates. Each operator has its own capacity for the weight and length of the gate and the speed of gate travel. They're ideal for high traffic applications, including parking facilities, commercial properties, warehouses, distribution centers, and gated communities. HD operators have a lot going on under the hood. HD operators are similar to CSL and CSW operators, but there are a few differences. The control board is a different design. The expansion board is the same as in our CSL and CSW operators. But HD models have an added relay adapter board, giving these operators a total of four programmable relays. The control board is wired to a power adapter board. Which in turn is wired to the EMI board. The wiring diagram and installation manual are great references for the variety of devices that can be connected, so study them well. We'll start with a look at the control board. All three dial controls are set to the lowest settings at the factory. Unique to HD operators is the speed control dial, which allows the customer to adjust the speed of gate movement. The HDSL24UL can be adjusted to speeds ranging from a half foot per second to one foot per second. And the HDSW24UL can be adjusted from 13 to 36 seconds for a 90 degree opening. The default setting is to the lowest speed. Another control for gate speed is the bipart delay switch, which is used only with dual gate applications where one gate needs to close before the other or the gates need to travel uneven distances. The Learn button is used to enter programming mode for accessories, including adding a total of 50 Security Plus 2.0 remote controls or KPW250 keypads and two 877 MAX keyless entries. Pressing the button causes the LED indicator to turn on. MyQ technology lets the HD operators communicate with an internet gateway so users can control the operator using a mobile device or connect to MyQ business facility. The Learn button is also used to program communication between the operator and the internet gateway. Pressing the button a second time causes the network LED indicator to turn on. The LED diagnostic display is an important troubleshooting tool. When you turn on the operator, the diagnostic code display will show one of the following model number abbreviations. HG for the HDSW24UL or HL for the HDSL24UL. This will be followed by 24 for 24 volts and then the firmware version. The stop, close and open buttons allow you to access and scroll through the diagnostic code history. A variety of error conditions are stored, allowing you to resolve these issues more quickly. A list of diagnostic codes can be found on the wiring diagram as well as in the manual. The timer to close dial allows you to set how long the gate remains open before automatically closing. With this dial in the off position, the gate will remain open until a close command is given or it can be set to close after any length of time up to three minutes. In this example, we've set the timer to close the gate after five seconds.
a variety of accessories can be wired directly to the control board, expansion board, and relay adapter board using the color-coded terminal blocks on the right side. Terminal blocks for entrapment protection and vehicle detection devices are color-coded for easy identification and allow for easy connection. Yellow terminal blocks are for connecting LiftMaster monitored entrapment protection devices only. If you want to connect a telephone entry system, external loop detector, or any other device that would cause the gate to open, wire the device to the exit terminal. Accessory power terminals can provide one amp at 24 volts DC for switched and unswitched applications. This operator is also equipped with an expansion board, which is designed to accommodate three additional entrapment protection devices. These inputs feature switches which allow the installer to select whether to protect the open or close direction. The AC fail switch on the expansion board works together with the BAT fail switch on the control board to control the behavior of the operator when AC power is lost. Setting the AC fail switch to open will cause the gate to open about 15 seconds after AC power is lost. It will stay open until power is restored. Setting the AC fail switch to BAT will cause the operator to run on battery power. As the battery voltage approaches the critical low of 23 volts, the operator will beep three times when a command is given to move the gate. When the voltage drops below 23 volts, the BAT fail switch determines what the operator will do. Setting the BAT fail switch to open causes the gate to automatically open after 30 seconds. It will stay open until AC power is restored or the battery voltage increases. Setting the BAT fail switch to close does the opposite, causing the gate to close and stay closed until AC power is restored or the battery voltage increases. The quick close assists with controlling the flow of traffic by reducing vehicular tailgating. When the switch is off, there is no change to the unit operation. When the switch is on and timer to close is on, an opening gate will automatically begin to close as soon as a vehicle passes the photo eyes or travels over the wired interrupt loop. There are also three inputs for LiftMaster's Loop DETLM loop detector that monitors shadow, interrupt, and exit loops. The exit loop fail switch allows you to control the behavior of the gate if the loop DETLM detects a fault with the exit loop. The anti-tailgate is also used to control traffic flow. When the switch is on and the interrupt loop is activated, a closing gate will pause until the vehicle is clear. The gate will continue to close. When the switch is off and the interrupt loop is activated, a closing gate will stop and reverse to the open position. There are a total of four auxiliary relays that can be assigned to do different tasks based on how their switches are set. Two auxiliary relays are located on the expansion board. The other two are on the relay adapter board, which is connected to the expansion board. One example of how they can be used is to activate an audible device anytime the gate is in motion. A popular accessory is the red-green traffic light, model number RGL24LY, and our newest model, the RGL-CTL. It can be used to signal vehicles that the entrance is clear to pass. The light is directly powered from the control board. The AUX1 and AUX2 switches on the expansion board are used to configure the behavior of the light. This unit will run when the operator is on battery backup power. For information about additional accessories, consult the installation manual.